हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल माई सेल पराग जाबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट सिलेक्शन स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग सिंपल इप इपेल्स नेस्टेड इप एंड एलसीप लैडर सो इन दिस केस वी हैव वन कंडीशन एंड देर वेर ओनली टू आउटपुट राइट ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉर ट्रू वी आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस सेट ऑफ एक्शन एंड फॉर फॉल्स वी वेर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस सेट ऑफ एक्शन राइट बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस कंडीशन सपोज इफ वी हैव एनी एक्सप्रेशन सो फॉर दैट एक्सप्रेशन देर कैन बी मल्टीपल आउटपुट इन दिस केस देर आर ओनली टू आउटपुट ट्रू और फॉल्स बट इफ इट इज एक्सप्रेशन देन देर कैन बी मल्टीपल आउटपुट लाइक दिस सी इफ इट इज एक्सप्रेशन सो आउटपुट कैन बी एनीथिंग राइट फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल वी हैव आउटपुट ए बी सी अप टू एन राइट सो फॉर दिस ए वे आर एक्जीक्यूटिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट for b we are executing these statements and for c we are executing these statements right so when there is expression and when there are multiple outputs so such selection structure is implemented by using c right by using c if you are familiar with c c++ java language then we have switch case right it is implemented by using switch case but in apex programming language it is implemented by using switch when syntax are somewhat different In this video, we will see how to implement selection structure by using switch when. Now, see in C C++ Java language, we are writing switch code like this. This is the example from C++ language. Here, see we have keyword switch. Here, we have expression. And what is the result of this expression? Based on that, we have different cases, right? Suppose this expression value is one, so it will execute this statement, right? And to come outside, we have this break. right if this expression value is 2 then we have this statement and to come outside we have break right and if this expression value is not matching with any case value then we have this default block right it will execute this statements and it will come outside this block right so this is how switch statement is executed in c c++ and java language right but in apex programming language to implement switch we have switch when c this is one simple example i have taken so how it is implemented see there we have switch keyword right so same keyword we have to use in apex program along with switch we have to use one more keyword on so see there we have only switch right here we have to use switch on this is a expression we can also mention this expression in round bracket no problem then this is the switch block right now see there we have case right here we have when this is possible value of expression so see here when this expression value is 1 it should execute this statements when expression value is 2 it should execute this block when expression value is 3 it should execute this block and when this expression value is not matching with anything then we have default block like this see in c++ java language we have this default block and here we have to mention keyword default right and this is a default block right here in apex programming language this is the default block and how we are mentioning when else and this is a default block some statements in default block right so see we'll learn this so what is mentioned here see here we have one expression 1 plus 2 so definitely value will be 3 so see 1 and 3 not matching 2 3 not matching 3 and 3 right it is matching so it will execute this right so it should print cat cat on the screen right we will execute this code let us see okay so no compilation error debug only and we got this output right cat right again we will go here now see here we have taken number suppose instead of that uh suppose you want to take one character something like this suppose i want to take b character and here we will mention a b and here c right so c switch on b so b so where it is matching here right a b not matching then b it is matching right so it should execute this block so we should get output banana right we'll run it debug only So see here we got output banana, right? Again we'll go to our anonymous window. Now see here directly we have mentioned value. So something we mention in single quote it becomes a string, right? So b is a string, right? Now see instead of this what we'll do we'll take one variable string where is equal to b, 
right and this where here we can mention so see where value is b right so what is where b so here it is matching right so it should execute this block right so we'll execute this we'll click on debug only so see we got output banana right so in this way we can implement selection structure using switch in apex programming language so for that we have to use two keywords switch on here there can be expression and instead of case so in c c plus java language we have case here we have when and when it is not matching with any case value like this so we have this default block in next video we will see how to implement loop structure in apex programming language so friends i hope you like this video if a is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you